especially there's abundance of information coming in, especially through social media every day, thousands, hundreds, thousands of content, even millions of content. Sometimes we get carried away laughing, ah, something cool, but it doesn't have any uh, impact to us. Yeah? Okay. Maybe one of them, salah satunya adalah memilih itu konten-konten terbaik. But Khabib, for your information, here are the internet savvy. All of these, these people are, are very um, internet users. They impact creator. They create impacts. Yeah? They, I'm sure they are very wise in consuming the social media. Nowadays, okay. Very good. Okay. Yep. Habib, is there anything else? What's the best advice that you want to say to all the young people here at this place and also in Indonesia? Take your time. Yeah, like for young, young people, I, I want to say maybe, I say too much today maybe, but again, I'm going to tell them it's education is a, is a key of everything in this world. And this is, this is very interesting and uh, it's very important because Allah says first things to us like Iqra, you have to read. Translation, it's education. It's very important. Not only for men, for women too. You know, because, uh, because of education, we can deal with a lot of problems in our life. And uh, first of all, education. Second, like you say, manage your time well. Manage your time. It's very important because time is never come back. And uh, be close with your parents. These three things, my advice for everybody, not only young, young guys, like, like my age, even older, like uh, it's never late. It's never late. And these three, three things, it's the most important things in our life. This is what I think. Habib, if you... Well, <laughs> I'm sure he was one of your biggest fans here. Thank you. So, if you had the opportunity again to talk to your father now, I mean, what would you say? Because I'm sure that your father has been the center of your life. He, he was the center of your life. He did everything for you. He trained you to be somebody meaningful. Yeah. If you had the opportunity to convey, to talk to him, what would you say to the late Abdul Manab? May Allah grant him Jannah to Firdausi. Amen. Amen. Like with father, I was very close because, uh, because he was with me in home. He was with me in gym. He was flying with me in training camp. We was very close. Not only like father and son. We was like friends. We was like coach and a student. It was very, very uh, close connection between me and my father. But... But when we, if you have knowledge in your religion, you understand doesn't matter how close you're going to be with, with uh, anyone of your family, this relationship is going to be broke because somebody going to die. This is haq in our life. And, uh, and, and if he was good Muslim and good human and you will continue his uh, job, you will be same. You guys are going to meet in Jannah, inshallah. But most, uh, most uh, like, like crazy things in our life, when you realize after we die, next life we will never meet, this is, I think, most uh, crazy things in our life. Like, they have to be good and you have to be good. But, you know, but, but your father or mother, your parents, they are very bad people and they give you bad education and bad manners and you continue what they give you and what's, how, how are you guys going to meet in next life, you know? And, and that's, why, that's why for us it's very important to learn our religion and be close to each other, help each other, you know? And they help not only for your family, be close and connected with all social people around you, and when your parents die and you die next life, you guys are going to be together, not only 60 or 100 years, you guys are going to be together unlimited time, inshallah. 
Insya Allah. Oke. Okay. <laughs> ya, silakan. Kalau memberikan salutation. Tapi you, you never, you rarely talk about your family in the social media. What, what, what specific educations do you give to your kid nowadays, currently? Besides, do you teach a martial art as well? You know, if you talk about like my family and kids and social media, uh, like for example, family is, this is my family. Okay? Social media I use to show myself and to be connected and inspire people around the world because I'm very famous. But I don't like to post my family or kids in social media. Media. Maybe they don't want to be famous because maybe now my son is six years old. When he become like older, maybe he become like 18, 20, he's gonna tell me, why you make me famous? This is what I don't want. Why you make me famous without asking me? Right now I cannot ask my kids what they want because they don't understand. And, uh, and this, is, this is like what I think you cannot make decision from themselves, you know? Just give them good education, give them good life, like teach them they have to be educated, they have to go to school, they have to be strong, they have to be smart. And when they become a little bit older, they're gonna choose what they want, you know? And that's why I make separate, my family is separate, social media is separate, you know? But some, some people like, they post their kids, they put like, you know, but maybe when they become older, they're gonna say, hey, why you make me famous? This life I don't like, you know? And that's why give them to make decision when they become older. And you know. Because this popularity is not easy. Uh, and it's a test for all of us, especially Muslims. Yeah? When we become famous, kalau kita terkenal itu bukan berarti nikmat ya, teman-teman. Ya? Banyak ujian juga di situ ya. Yeah, it's not easy to be popular and famous. Well, it's not easy. Well, it's you, not you easy. also feel that one. It's, it's not easy to be popular. No, people. like for example, when I was young, let's talk about 1996, for example, I was eight years old, or 2000, I was 12 years old. I didn't know what is this popular. To be popular, that time it was no phones, no social media, no Instagram, YouTube, or all this stuff. And I was just 12 years old kid who follow his dream to become world champion. And now if we can watch like, I'm 36 and I was, UFC champion, like to become very popular. Now, last 25 years, a lot of things change and world change completely, you know. And that time I don't follow to become popular and my goal was not become popular, my goal was to become champion, world champion. But, but it is what it is, you know. But you have to deal with this. You have to, you have to understand you can be famous, and you can use your fame with good things or bad things. This is your choice. You just like, if you want to be like, you can choose. But if you want to be a good person, this one you can choose too, you know. There is, Allah always give us two choices. To go to one hell or you go to Jannah. And he give us instruction. If you want to go hell, follow this. If you want to go Jannah, follow this. And what very interesting, what very interesting things, to go to hell, you buy this. Any sin you buy, anything. You want to drink, you have to buy. You want to go party, you have to buy. You want to do some bad things, you have to buy. But if you want to go to Jannah, you don't have to buy nothing. Just be connected with Allah. Wow. Oh. Go to Jannah is for free. It's for Just, free. But you have to fight with yourself. You have to fight with yourself. But no money. But be honest with yourself and Allah. And you go to Jannah. But these things, you have to pay and you go. <laughs> Bener juga sih ya. Masuk neraka itu, kita apa-apa mesti bayar katanya. <laughs> Kalau ke surga semuanya gratis. All free of charge. Just try to build connection with your creator, with Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Khabib, let's take a moment, if you don't mind, just a casual questions here. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, a few people ask, when are you going back to Octagon? 
Is there a chance, even a slight chance, a tiny chance, that you would go back to the octagon? Bob, there is no chance. No chance? Yes. Not even 1%? Not even 1%. 0 0.1, no? Minus. Minus, okay. Minus. Yeah. Minus. If you, if you guys, if you guys need champions, I'm helping my brothers to become champions. Wow. We have, we have Islam, champion. Islam. We have okay, Omar, next contender. We have Osman, champion. We have a lot of champions. But you guys never gonna miss me because in our team and our gym we create champions. Great. You guys gonna have always champions. Don't worry about this. Oh, okay. Lagi mencetak champion katanya ya. So, the, which means there will be more champions coming to Jakarta to share about their inshallah. journey, inshallah, when Allah permits. And Jakarta means like city of winners, right? Yes, how did you know? That's I read, I read, okay. I read about this, yes. Tawani, eh? City of champions, you know, undefeated UFC champion just landed in city of champions. Wow, excellent. <laughs> we have the undefeated Champion uh, coming to City of Champions, katanya. Wah, luar biasa. You like you like history? I like history. Oh yeah. Jakarta have same history like me. I was fight all my life. Same Jakarta. If we look at history, how many empires Jakarta fight in last 2000 years? You guys know more than me. And you know it's like it's uh, it's very. I'm very happy to be here with all these people. You know to finally to come to Jakarta, Indonesia, you know, I just, this trip, it's for me, it's like, you know, like for with events, meet with friends, talk, but inshallah next time I'm gonna come without all these official things, just to travel around the Jakarta to yes. see all country, inshallah. And I'm sure you also are scheduled to revisit, to come back to Jakarta on the October 5th, right? Yes, I'm that's coming. Different. Next, this sat, uh, next Saturday, I'm gonna next be Saturday. here in wow. Casablanca Arena, Kota Casablanca Arena, inshallah. But you'll be meeting different kinds of people. No, here. because because almost 300 million people he living in Jaja in uh, Indonesia. You know, it's uh, one event. I don't think it's enough. Inshallah, next inshallah. Saturday we will see who didn't come here, who don't show up. Next Saturday they are gonna have chance. Inshallah. Inshallah. Have you tasted any Indonesian food? Yeah, there's a question from somebody here. Ili, uh, Ili Nis. What is your most favorite Indonesian food? Uh, no, I'm, I'm sure you haven't tasted uh, any. Food? Honestly, any food. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm good with any food. I'm not like uh, people who choose, oh, I don't like this, I like this. Because all my life I was diet myself stay focused, fight, everything. Now I just try to enjoy yeah. what Allah give us. Food is halal. You know. Apa aja yang halal, okay lah. Berarti emang food, makanan ini godaan. Ini pasti yang nanya food influencer ya. Okay. Uh, in Indonesia, sambo sports is not yet popular. Not yet popular. Yeah. How to make Indonesian youth love sambo here in Indonesia. Is there any way? Of course, there is many ways. But first of all, somebody have to open the school and bring good coaches. And good coaches can create champions. And this, from these champions, become new coaches. You know, you need years and years invest on sport to this sport become popular. For example, in Russia, sambo is most popular sport. You know, and my father was, uh, yes, he was, he was a Sambo champion. And uh, for me, it was very easy to learn. But I know Indonesia is a different part of the world. And here is not many good Sambo coaches. And that's why, you just, if, you, if you guys want to uh, make a new generation with, uh, you know, like with good champions of Sambo, you, first of all, gym, second, you need good coaches and uh, give them time with working with new generation like young generation i think like 10 15 years sambo can become very good you know because because very big population you know 
and uh, of course from 300 million maybe can become a couple of world champions right <laughs> why don't you make create one here school well, well, and i was i was talking in backstage about to opening uh, like uh, my gym here in jakarta wow i think it's good idea it's a very good idea i think so you which means you will visit jakarta more often then because you have your school here right later on inshallah I'm going to be honest, not only because of school, not only because of school, this is because of people from here. Like I met, I met, uh, not because I come here and I just want to be like, but uh, I travel around the world a lot, you know, and I met a lot of beautiful people from Indonesia. Like they are very respectful, very disciplined and very good, with good energy. And uh, I really like when I meet people around the world. You know, like some people, they try to bother you, but I really like when I meet people like from Indonesia around the world. Yeah. Excellent. I think these last questions would wrap up because it has a strong connection with young people. The question comes from uh, Bintang, yeah? Uh, Habib, how do you maintain your sanity? Because a lot of teenagers especially here in Indonesia, struggle with depression and anxiety. That's what he said. Mm. <clears throat> I think not only them struggle with this. I struggle with this too, you know. And uh, I think uh, uh, sometimes you have to spend your time with yourself. Just do not meet with people, you know. When you all the time meet with people, there is some people with good energy, there is people with bad energy too. They take your energy, you know. I don't know, you believe energy? You believe energy? Yeah. You believe? What do you think? I give you good energy? I give you good energy or bad energy? Sorry? I say, I say we meet a, a lot of people around the world, okay? There is good people with good energy. There is with bad, uh, bad energy people, you know? And these bad energy people can take your energy, give you bad mood, you know? For example, right now, I give you good energy. Yes, what do you think about me? He nervous. <laughs> but, and that's why sometimes just be yourself without people, without meeting with people. Sometimes you can get energy back, you know? It's called, it's called depression, they, how they, they say, some people use tablets or something like this, but best things, spend time, time with your kids, family, with yourself, without meeting people, you know, you need some time like charge, like our phones, charge finish, day off, you know, same thing with people, where everybody have energy, when energy finish, you, need, you have to get back this energy. How I get back energy, just I try to be with myself. Beda beda cara cara orang ya masing masing ya. Tapi tadi ya, jauhilah orang orang yang memiliki bad energy. And Khabib, he translate good. I think huh? he don't understand that. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, actually on on the screen there's a subtitle there. Okay, Whatever you say. Subtitles? Okay. Yeah, on the screen the subtitle. So I don't have to do double job here. <laughs> I hope who's working there he understand yeah. my language. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, okay, Khabib, let's make a little movement, yeah? With all the people here, I have been observing through the YouTube for sure, yeah? You like to make some love language after winning, and you do like... Ah. Okay. But it's hard for me to listen to you at a time. What were you saying when you did that? Uh, when you did that, what was it? What did you say? No, no this is our body translation. I, because, uh, like, uh, everything not from us. This is not because of we are some people. Everything from Allah. From Allah coming, everything. Wow. This is wow. knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge, power, success, fame, everything, money, everything Allah give you to test who you are. Okay. And all these things when come, these things are gonna show who you are inside. Yeah. Like you become famous, rich, 
as it powerful, is for us. strong, then this, all these things are going to show you who you are. And we have to send this all, everything back to Allah because to Allah. we don't deserve this. Just Allah test us. Allah test. Like, for example, how many millions people know you? You are popular. Human, no, right? no, I'm not popular. No, you are popular. Some people know you. Oh. Of course, some people oh, that's know That's my family. You. That's my family. Hey, yes. they want to no, no, me. not only family. Other people too. There is many people who know you. And this is very big test for you. You have to be careful with this. Same thing with me. How many people around the world, they know me? I have to be careful. I have to, I have to give them something back, you know? When Allah gives you so many things, you have to. You have to be open with the around people, you know? And that's why this is very big test. This is not because of us. This is because Allah give us. Oh, mashallah. Barakallah feek. Jazakumullah Okay, can we, do you mind to teach us? Can we do the hands, hands together? First of all, I remind myself. And after who, people who knows me. First of all, myself, after around people. Yeah, dia mau mulai duluan, setelah itu kita rame-rame. Can everybody, would you please stand up? Yeah, can we do a stand up? Yes, okay, all right. Okay, I need some lights here, please. Kalau boleh ada lampu. Okay. Habib is going to start doing that, uh, the tawakal language, tawakal sign, yeah. And then, setelah itu kita sama-sama ya, sama-sama lakukan, oke? Okay? Yeah, that we do number one, please. You want to, I do this? Uh, yeah, you do it first. Where's camera? It's oh, but first, wait. Habib, I think I need a company. Can I invite Mr. Uh, Harman Subakat to join me on the stage? Mas Harman Subakat, would you please join us on the stage? Yes, of course. Ah, uh, yeah. We're not gonna wrestle? Sorry? Not wrestle? <laughs> Huh? You want to wrestle yeah. with me? <laughs> <laughs> wrestle, yeah? Oh, okay, okay, wrestle, okay. Mas Arman, please join us. How are you? How is everything? Alhamdulillah. Now two versus one, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to teach us some style, maybe? Some grappling? It's not safe for you. <laughs> Aduh, you tinggal you isi, tinggal tulang be, doang nih. Because you're gonna be down, you need mats, not screen. You need mats. You need, because you're match. gonna be down. <laughs> uh, dicolek aja, kencang banget tuh pukulannya. <laughs> Let's do it together, ya. Yeah? Mas Arman, kita bareng-bareng ya. Uh, Habib is going to show us first, ya. Yeah? Then we we will copy that, we'll imitate you, okay? No, I don't understand. Ah, uh, okay. What to say? <laughs> You are going to show us the example. Okay. Yeah, and then later on we will imitate you. Ah, okay. okay. Where's Good. camera? For example, uh, the, the, okay. Ngadep ke mana nih kira-kira? Ngadep sini ya. Could you please move forward? Yeah. Okay. Just a few steps ya. Di saya habis pertandingan nih ya. Gimana? Gitu ya Malay? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No words? No words? This But is not from... No, no, no. This is body words. Sometimes don't talk is better. Wow! Sometimes. Let's see. No talk is better. Because we already talk too much here. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you do it one more time, please? One more okay. time. The short example. Yeah, kita bareng-bareng habis ini ya. Coba. Wow! Okay. Yeah, kita bareng-bareng, okay, teman-teman? Saya lihat. Lima, empat, tiga... Dua, satu, go! <laughs> Even if there, there is no word, it keeps reminding you to be tawakal, yeah? To be sur surrendered to Allah, because Allah makes everything. Allah gave you the success, and it can be a nikmat, or it can be a, a test for you, yeah? Great, excellent. Mas, one more thing, if you don't mind. We want to say langkah berdampak, meaningful steps, yeah? Okay. We want to say langkah berdampak. If I say cut forward, everybody in the house will say langkah berdampak and put your fist up in the air if you don't mind, okay. yeah? Semua teman-teman ya, kita, saya akan ngomong cut forward, semuanya akan bilang langkah berdampak, gitu ya? Bisa ya? Khabib too ya? Can you, do, can you repeat after me? Langkah berdampak. What you say? Langkah berdampak. Berdampak. You say I'm gonna 
Oke, okay, langkah berdampak. Ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Ada tulisannya nggak sih di screen ya? Oke. Okay. Di belakang ada langkah berdampak. Nah, saya se- langkah berdampak. Berdampak. Ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Oke, okay, Mas, saya nggak apa-apa ya. Good. Semuanya tangan mengepal di atas boleh? Ini merupakan janji kita untuk selalu memberikan terbaik buat Indonesia tercinta, memberikan langkah berdampak. <laughs> Better stay this. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. <laughs> Ya, ya ini komitmen kita lewat event ini kita ingin memberikan langkah berdampak. Setuju teman-teman? Setuju ya? Ya kalau saya bilang car forward, when I say car forward, all of you including Khabib would say langkah berdampak. Gitu Mas Arman ya? Yo, ready five, four, three, two, one, car forward, langkah berdampak. Car forward, langkah berdampak. Car forward. Oke, okay, give your back a big round of applause. Iya, yeah. menyala brotherku. What is this? Everybody loves it. Would you like me to? Would you like Habib to say menyala brotherku? Menyala means brotherku means brother. Okay. Menyala, fire up brothers. Fire up. Wah. Apa sih bahasa Inggris benar ya? Fire up brothers. Yeah. Itu ya Mas deh. <laughs> Menyala brotherku. Menyala brotherku. What is this? Yeah, can you do that? Menyala. What translate? Menyala means fire up, fire up. Uh, brotherku. Menyala. 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 Brotherku. Menyala brotherhood. Yeah. Let's practice, practice first ya mas ya, practice ya. Menyala brotherku, menyala, menyala, menyala brotherku, brotherhood. Ya, good. Oke okay, semua siap-siap ya, teman-teman, ready? Mana tangannya nih, menyala gitu ya? Gitulah, oke. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Menyala brotherhood. Ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Yeah. Tetap jaim. I think we need to let Khabib do it alone. Oke, okay? please. Yeah. Only you. Menyala brotherku. Menyala brotherhood. With your hand. Menyala. Menyala brotherhood. Hey. Mantap. <laughs> Tepuk tangan. Thank you so much, Khabib. Thank you.